Hey there, friend. I hope you're making today a great day. As we roll into the weekend, August is upon us. I can't hardly believe the summer's going by so quick. I hope you're making the most of it. Well, there are some friends of ours who are making the most of it. Some of our brothers and sisters in Christ from Calvary AG have spent the week, this past week, in Alaska, partnering with the Burkharts, who we support as a church, doing the Lord's work. It was so cool on Tuesday to catch the video. Hopefully you saw that. Pastor David, some of the construction team members there from Calvary AG, just sharing a little glimpse, a little update. It was so cool. Even Paul Burkhart gave a greeting. Again, he's our partner. We support him through your giving generously to offerings through Global Impact. And uh, he extended his gratitude. Hey, thanks for supporting our team. Thanks for sending them. Thanks for praying for them and supporting them financially and through fundraising endeavors. And just thanks for loving, loving them. Isn't it good to be a part of the church? Would you pause today and and pray for our Alaska team. They're coming home this weekend. Let's pray for a safe journey home and that the Lord will continue to lead them, guide them, direct them, and use them to share the good news of the gospel even along their path back home. That's the great commission, right? Jesus gave us in Matthew chapter 28, verse 16 through 20, that we should go into the world and on our way, we should be ready to share Jesus and to encourage people to consider him and give an explanation, right, to the hope we have. And uh, so I hope you're doing that today as well. Hey, let me share a few things that are on the horizon right here in Northeast Ohio and in the church. Opportunities to, well, connect, grow, and serve. And if you're part of Calvary AG, we hope you're making the most of the opportunities. If you're a lady, there's a monthly opportunity called SALT. Women's get to, women get together and dive into the Word. Just keep it real. Pray together. Be in the Youth Center next Saturday the 7th. And then Next Sunday, the 8th, we all love bake sales. Well, our students are going to be putting on another missions fundraiser, Speed the Light fundraiser for uh, missions. And so we hopefully will enjoy that one, right? And so come prepared to support them. Our students are also going to have a, a really great time on Wednesday night. They usually meet on Wednesdays at 6.30, 6 through 12th grade. They're calling it Color Wars. They're going to have some friendly, fun competition with all kinds of colors and things. And so I guess Pastor Ian has said, make sure students wear something that can get dirty and then bring a change of clothes so that you don't ruin the car on the way home, right? So invite some friends, have your kids invite some friends. And uh, there's going to be other students from other youth ministries in the area, from other churches as well. So it'll be a great opportunity. In fact, uh, Pastor Randy Young, who's one of another one of our missionary partners, he's going to be with our students sharing the word. They're going to enjoy worship as well. So uh, another fun time diving into God's plans and purposes for their lives and just meeting some new people. Invite those young people to be there. And then uh, some of you have in your heart just to be a blessing and to serve. Can I just point out we have a, a homeless ministry and it's led by Lee Hall. And uh, you see his name and his number here on the screen. And um, he's frequently... Uh, sharing the love of Jesus by meeting needs in Cleveland. And so on Saturday the 14th, if you'd like to be a part of um, an opportunity to do just that, Lee is going to be doing a cookout um, uh, at St. Herman's in Cleveland because they have a real good routine of feeding those who are um, hurting and downcast and people come. And, and so Lee and anyone from Calvary AG is going to go down there and, and serve up some, some, some dinner, I suppose it is, and later in the day. And, uh, and share the love of Jesus. Explain Jesus. Again, great commission, right? We'll be known by our love. So I hope you'll consider partnering with, with us, with Lee. Give him a shout. Let him know. Hey, so there's plenty of things coming up here at Calvary Assembly of God. Our women are going to be doing a, another. Man, we love you, ladies. A grab-and-go lunch. Another fundraiser coming up on, what is it, the 15th. So on Sunday the 15th, uh, we can drop a few bucks off in the foyer and take lunch to go. Chef Ray is going to be putting that together. It's going to be a good good time. Hey, one more thing. It's not on the screen, but I wanted to mention a, a great opportunity. I hope you'll put it on your calendar. Um, Sunday evening, the 22nd of August at 6.30 p.m., linger. It's a time to linger in God's presence, to worship Him, extended worship, prayer, just to press in. We've invited several other churches, Elevation Church, First Assembly Church, uh, the Meaning Place Church, Chester, many churches from the area. I think Christ's culture also might be coming. And just a time to worship with others. I hope you'll carve that out and just press into the Lord's presence. You know, He loves us and He loves to spend time with us. And it's always a worthwhile time for us as well. So I hope you'll plan to be there. So this Sunday, let's not get too far ahead of ourselves, August 1st, 
10.30 a.m. I hope you'll join us to worship the Lord. If you want to read Matthew chapter 28, verse 16 through 20, we might be in Acts chapter 1 a little bit too. We'll see how the Lord leads. But I hope to see you then. In the meantime, I hope you have a blessed weekend and uh, make today a great day.